Jorginho may have a huge drawback, but he's one of the best icons you can get in the game. He's not cheap, costs you roughly about 2 million coins, but with all the icon packs coming out, there's a half decent chance you may pack him. I mean, I did. So, without further ado, team, let's find out what he can do. So team, this is one of the teams that I used him in. Obviously, I've used Jorginho for quite a few games. Obviously, the fact he is first order is unreal. I have tried him in a variety of positions. Obviously, he can play on the right and at striker. He does not actually play at striker for me in this formation. He does play out in the right. But I've tried him in pretty much all positions. His stats are really, really good. His, uh, his shooting is particularly amazing. His pace is unreal. His dribbling is sick i mean there's very few cons with this card there's just a few big ones that i just need to to make you aware of but we'll get into them in, in a minute looking at obviously the, the play styles he does have the rapid plus trait which depending on your point of view may be a plus may be a negative it depends on how you feel about that play style and like i said i'll get into that in a second now Obviously, he is also high, high as well. For some people, that is a negative, but for me using them in midf midfield, I did actually quite like that about him. I like the fact that he was able to track back and help the, help the fullback out, which in this game is relatively essential. You do need your wingers to track back and help you because the wings are such key important areas in this game. And even though he was out on the right, he was making some really, really good runs into the middle, was finding himself floating into the kind of camp position sometimes. He would get involved in pretty much every position, which was quite good from my perspective. It really, again, depends on your point of view, whether or not you want that from your wingers, but you can just instruct them at that point to stay wide now he was always available for likes of crosses at the back post as well he does he did actually seem relatively physical as well you know having only 73 physical you kind of wonder whether or not he's going to be or not but he was quite decent physical wise i mean obviously very very fast with that that play style his passing was on point i mean i found his crossing particularly from the right being very very good and his finishing was Unreal. There was a particular type of long shot which I just when I realized when I was making this review, I didn't actually record. <laughs> Particularly when you're out on the right, you can shoot pretty much over the keeper. And it's something that I did about five, six times with him and realized I never actually got it where I'd actually recorded it. So believe me or not, it's up to you. Now, looking at his cons for this card it's there's one big one right and this is going to be a bit of my own opinion realistically it's down to yourself on how big a problem this is for yourself the play style plus for me is a con and the reason i feel like it's a con is because when you are running with this card he knocks the ball quite far in front and it can be a bit easier to tackle then there's limits to where he can play on the park I feel like in Cam and Striker is not really ideal because he is easier to tackle where he's a bit more congested. Out on the wing, it can be maybe seen as a plus because realistically at that point, you're only usually up against the fullback. So it's really down to your own preference in this case. But for me, it felt like a drawback. I felt like I was limited to where I could play this card because I feel like without this trait, he would be unreal in the middle of the park. He'd be very good at striker. Don't get me wrong, he is very, very good at wide, but I feel like maybe it caps how, how good this card can actually be. Now, obviously, everything else about the card is unreal. His shooting, skills, passing, all very, very good. I mean, you can see with the types of finishes that I'm doing, he was 
an exceptional card, particularly off the right. So this is when I'm thinking of ratings wise. I'm thinking of a 9.1 for this card. I wanted to go maybe a little bit higher, but the playstyle does draw back a little bit. And I also found it draining on his stamina at times, particularly if I used Jorginho more in a game as compared to if it wasn't. About the 70th minute, I was having to find some times I was having to sub him off. But team, let me know what you think as well. If you've packed Jorginho, if you've used them, what are your thoughts on the card? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. It does help out massively. And check out the other reviews and also our uh, In The Game series at the moment where we talk about the game and our thoughts as well. But other than that team, look after yourselves and the catch you in the next one. Adios.